Welcome to another video of Test Prep Card channel. So dear parents and students, welcome to Test Prep Card channel again. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So in this particular video, we are going to cover about Bates Pilani Dubai campus. So this video is going to be really informative. So just a small request, don't put your phone down, keep watching till the end and you will really enjoy. All right. So let's start today's video. Now before starting this video, let me just tell you what are the things that we are going to cover in today's video. Okay. We will be starting with about of bits Dubai campus. Then we will be moving to eligibility criteria of Indian and NRI students. Then we will be moving to the reservation policy. Then courses it offers along with fee structure and what is the application process for admission. And one more thing, is there any scholarship or not? All right. So these are the things that we are going to cover in today's video. All right. So let's start the today's video. And this is the first thing introduction of bits planning Dubai campus. BITS as a name derived, its full form is BITS, that is Birla Institute of Technology and Science. This is the only branch of Dubai, which is situated in Dubai, is the only branch of BITS and it is an international campus of reputed Birla Institute of Technology and Science. It's a public deemed university or the largest educational institution in DIAC. Now DIAC is what? DIAC is Dubai International Academic City. A lavish campus in Dubai, UAE, globally recognized degree. Now every institution has a tagline. For this institution, this is innovate, achieve and lead. The courses it offers ranges from bachelors to again PhDs. So bachelors, masters and doctoral programs. Now which in this institute is popularly known as first degree program, second degree program, third degree program. So we will be talking this terms like what is the first degree program criteria, what is the second degree program criteria and what is the third degree program criteria. The courses it offers are residential and non-residential. So this is a benefit for the students in and around Dubai. All right. Cool. So let's start with the eligibility criteria of the Indian and NRI students. Now this is integrated program at SPIS, BITS or you call it as a first degree program. So in the first degree program, the courses, which bits Dubai offers are BE in chemical engineering, right? Then chemical engineering, electrical and electronic engineering, mechanical engineering, computer science, biotechnology, right? Electronics and communication engineering. So these are the sub domains in which the bachelor degrees are offered, right? Now, what is the eligibility criteria? How you can get it into bits Dubai? So there are three things that you have to keep in mind. The first one about class 12th, because this is just the course which will be starting after your 12th. So no matter what from which country you are, class 12th in India, it calls it the intermediate, right? In uh, other countries, it is uh, the class 12th is calling it as a secondary degree, right? So what is the criteria in here? So the criteria says that the student must have obtained a minimum of 60% marks overall and PCM aggregate marks in CBSE, if I talk about the CBSE students or IB students or international students or state board. Now in the international, it can be Oxford, it can be Edexcel, right? There are many other you know, international boards. So provided the condition, you should be having PCM along with 60% marks overall and a minimum aggregate in 60% physics, chemistry and mathematics because this is a science subject. That's why focus is on PCM and with at least 50% marks in each subject. Right. So this is the eligibility. Now what I'll tell you, if you're actually targeting, don't go for 50%, try to score more than 60%. So it will satisfy the all criteria in here. Okay. Now exams, if I talk about the exams, any inference exams, so no inference exams is required as such. If you are taking admission in BITS Dubai, as says, if you don't have English language in your secondary subject, if in your class 12, then you have to give eyelets. The score of eyelet is accepted, but it is not mandatory. Okay, so these are the things about integrated programs at BITS Dubai. Now let's move on to the higher degree program at BITS Dubai. Now the courses at the master level it offers are MBA and master in again, basically let's just we have done about BE. So this is ME, the advanced version. Again, there is no minimum criteria, no minimum cutoff of class 12, but to be on the safer side, score at least 60% or more than 60% in class 12. In bachelor's, it says that you have to score minimum of 60%. That is the first degree. Okay. Applicants must hold a degree such as BE. If you're talking about master's, then you could have completed your graduation with a minimum of 60%. That it wants to say. So BE, BTEC, master degree in any discipline or in equivalent with minimum of 60% aggregate. All right. So this is the entire information about higher degree program at BITS Dubai. 
Now what are the additional information? It is like copy of class 10 mark sheet or certificate of date of birth, right? These are the documents which will be required. Copy of transcript and degree of qualifying examination are 250 SOP, about 250 word of SOP that's called statement of purpose. And finally, you will be facing interview in order to get the final admission in here. About masters, let's move on about the doctoral program. So in the doctoral program, there are two criteria, two even offer in here. The first offer is that you will be getting, I, I mean, you will be studying as a full-time or this will be a residential or you'll be studying here as a part-time or this will be non-residential in short. So BITS campus and Dubai campus essentially invites application for the admission of doctoral program of the academic year 2021. So entire information is in the portal. I'll sh share you the link also in between. You can browse from there. So doctoral of philosophy that's called PhD. What is the eligibility criteria? So the eligibility criteria of PhD is that you must be having ME. In short, you must be having master's degree. ME, MS, MBA, MPhil of bits plani or equivalent with a minimum of 60% aggregate. So again, there the 60% criteria is still here, right? So it starts from class 12th, it moves to graduation, it moves to finally masters in order to enroll into the PhD course, all right? So this is just a brief of a doctoral program. Now, what are the reservation policy of Indian and NRI students? So as a name derived, BITS, BITS is a private institution, right? It's not a government institution. So there will be no uh, reservation on the basis of caste. So it clearly says that you can see in here that there is no reservation policy of any kind in BITS. One can get admission here only by clearing the cutoff through BITSAT exam through merit. Now BITSAT is not required. This is not required. This is not mandatory if you are taking admission in BITS to buy. Why? Because the, the criteria is already done. Class 12 criteria, English criteria, right? But again, if you have given BITS, BITSAT, the entrance exam of BITS, you are eligible for scholarship, which I'll going to cover in the next slides. All right. Now, what it says next, that is also important. Admission to Dubai campus is done on the basis of class 12 marks, as I told. BITSAT is not mandatory for the Dubai campus, just told. However, scoring good marks in BITSAT will help you getting scholarship from BITS Dubai campus. So this is the story about reservation policy and BITSAT score. Let's move on. Now, what are the courses it offers and what are the fees, right? So the courses it offers, I'll just tell you, along with the fees, this will be in AED, that is the currency of Dubai. But I'll convert this uh, entire Dubai uh, currency into the Indian rupees as well. So don't worry. Then two, two and three tries, we'll, we are going to cover this entire thing. Okay. So now, as I told, there are three degrees that BITS Dubai offers. The first one is first degree. The second one is second degree. And the third one is third degree. That is called first degree, higher degree, and then PhD. All right. One important information at this point of time before I continue. For NRI students, we have prepared a NRI ebook. We have a complete set of NRI ebook related to DASACIWG quota. Kindly download it from the link in the description below. So link is provided in the description. You can download the entire ebook. This is for NRI students. All right. Along with this, the P PDF of this video will be also uh, the PDF of this will be you can find in the description link. You can also download this PDF along with this NRI ebook. All right. Let's move on. So I was talking about the courses it offers and fees. So the courses it offers are ranging from first degree, higher degree, and finally PhD. So again, there is a compilation of application fee, right? Admission fee, activity fee, caution deposit, then first semester, then second semester. So if I just sum up for the entire first year only, for the first year only, now you have to multiply by four if you are in graduation, you have to multiply by two if you are in master's, and you have to multiply with respective number of years if you are in PhD. Okay, so around AED 5500 first year fees for first degree, right? If I talk about compiling again the entire information, this is sorry, this is the summer term of 5500 AED. No, if I just compile this entire information, the entire amount, right? The tuition fee of first degree will somewhere costing around um, this is 45 and 5500, 55,000 AED. 55,000 AED is the tuition fee for the first degree and 31,000 AED is the tuition fee for this higher degree and if I talk about the PhD again there are two options as I told on campus and off campus on campus AED first semester fee is 2400 AED and second semester fee is 3600 AED now this is for off campus or part time all right now again there are other charges as well like if you are NRI, like if you are coming from any other countries, right? So you have to pay for visa charges, right? Fresh visa fees, visa renewal fees, right? Medical insurance fee. 
right? Then there is hostel fees as well. Then there is transportation fees as well. So if I just compile this entire information, entire data, and tell you the final amount, the final amount in Indian rupee for the bachelor courses, somewhere around eight lakh seventy nine thousand for the first year. If you just multiply, let's take it as a random of nine lakh, right? So nine lakh for the first year, and there are number of years in bachelors is four. So thirty six, thirty seven lakhs will cost you if you are doing graduation. I mean, of course, B Tech from this institution. If I talk about the masters, masters is again called cost you along nine lakh rupees, total of nine lakh rupees, and nine lakh into do that somewhere around eighteen lakhs or twenty lakhs for pursuing masters from bits, and for the PhD as I just told. All right. Now what are the scholarship options? Scholarship is great. Scholarship is very important part of a student life. Scholarship and concession of the first degree are in two ways. The first one is for new admission. And for board topers, so if, suppose if you are the new admission guy, if you are coming for the college for the first time, right, and you are eligible for the scholarship only when you are board toppers. Board toppers means you have to score minimum of ninety percent in your respective class twelfth. All right. Now there is merit in qualifying examination. If you qualify the that examination, which again there are criteria like fifty percent or more, sixty percent or more, seventy percent or more, eighty percent or more. So on that basis, you will be given concession, right? You will be given scholarship. So that covers tuition fee, that covers hostel fee. So this is about the merit and qualifying examination. If I talk about BITSAT, right, the last year BITSAT twenty twenty, uh, score and cutoff was in such a way that if you are someone whose score is more than three hundred, then you are eligible for seventy five percent of tuition fee in the first year. In the first year, not in the entire year. In the first year, not in the entire year. Entire year, year as in not in the entire four year, right? Only for the first year, and then this is renewed on the basis of your marks in college exams. Okay, if you are someone who scores two fifty to two ninety nine in BITSAT, then fifty percent of tuition fee, right? Scholarship and two hundred to two forty nine score BITSAT score, then twenty five percent of tuition fee that is in the scholarship section in here. Okay, now this continues when you are fitting with the criteria of this college. Your marks, what is your marks in the college examination that matters. Right, and there are also some other special uh, concession which I'll tell you, but that would be better if you just go through the information bulletin. I'll I have shared this information bulletin of Dubai campus in this PPT only, so you can download this PPT from the description below, and you are always free to watch n number of times. All right. Now, what is the application process? The last stage. Typically, if you are taking admission in any institution, you have to go to the site of that institution. So same here, you have to visit HTTP. dot slash slash www dot bits pilani dot ac dot in slash dubai right and you have to read the instruction right there are few instruction let me just tell you the brief uh, like copy of if you are someone who is taking admission and who wants to fill the admission form or application form that copy of degree certificate and transcript or mark sheet of the first degree program you have to keep in with yourself right. Then again, there are list of courses, and from there you you can apply in the bachelor, you can apply in the masters, you can apply in the PhDs, right? So everything is given in that information bulletin. If you just going to apply for this institution, when you just click read the instruction, everything will come up, right? And I'll suggest you to read this entire thing. Now, what are the documentation that you need to keep with yourself, right? So let me just tell you about the documentation. This is about the outline of. Prospect topic of research. If you are applying in PhD, right? What is the profile of your organization? If you are working professional, right? Then, of course, there is NOCs, right? Then proposed supervisors concept and his or her bio data. Again, if you are if someone who is referring you to this institute, then you need to have the profile of that person. All right. Again, class ten, class twelfth, uh, graduation, masters, mark sheet is required if you are taking admission in respective categories. That is first degree, second degree, and third degree. And application fee has to be paid, which is two twenty AD, and again through banking and online net system. So this is just a brief about application process and that thing. Again, if you liked our video, please subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you have any comments, do ask in the comment section below. Links in the description below for this PDF and NRI ebook. All right.